Uh, we are starting uh, the other game and we have uh, Italy versus Baltic Council of the Baltic Sea. So for Italy we have Matteo who will be playing uh, Wani Crossing, a good old solid build. And uh, Kaur will be playing Knight's Wood Banner of the Wolf, another very solid uh, deck, a restricted card. Uh, for both uh, players are Great Hall and Ward. Uh, and standard for the one in crossing, we see double head on spikes uh, with uh, the gates. Uh, return first, no, do Harris option for uh, reset. And uh, you win or you die. What did I miss? First no. First no. Just updating a little bit my thoughts, uh, my notes, Mateo. Mateo, so we do our best and for uh, Night Switch Wolf, let's look how the pot line looks like. So we have double march, which is expected. Uh, VD and uh, Vor du Harris and Vor Morgulis, which is a little bit overkill in my, uh, I think. We see exposed, which won't do much work here, but I don't think. I mean, uh, the shadow matchup is a very hard for the banner wolf deck, for the night watch wolf deck who wants to steal all your stuff. So I, there is uh, merit to running exposed, and then we have at the gates and counting. Okay, and counting. Find all the juicy things. So look, uh, let's have a quick look on the deck. So. This looks to be a Queen Cersei deck and Sir Pounce with all of its uh, cute uh, interactions. We see Marcella, she is a beast in the deck. We see Queen's Regent, so interesting. We don't see any jumping stuff, but this is attachment control in a way. And then Tywin, Tyrion, Jamie, uh, Hound. Two copies, so a brood standard deck, bodyguards are found, custody for the additional intrigue and the event suite, uh, double superior claim and here mirror, I will probably run one superior claim and here mirror three times, it's an amazing in the deck, it's very good with the region guard and combination with the never bet. And for the Night's Watch Wolf uh, list, uh, looks like only two copies. How many copies are bound? Three copies bound, three times your end. Unfortunately, the primary, tar the only main target here we have is uh, Tyrion with in the five cost slot that is more uh, appealing. And then we have Marcella. Uh, other than that, we have Milk, Frozen Solid. So the, the deck looks like to be equipped to combat the start. I will see Recon here. War fellow, so looks like pretty solid deck as well, and I think we can start. We can start. Full screen. Uh, we should be able to see chat on the stream, so feel free to be active there. Well, I do. Can start. Uh, I hope I don't make them wait uh, that uh, long. Just went wanted to go over the decks a little bit. And we are wife with the game. Quick note. Sorry. Okay, we are wife. Good luck to both players. I think both uh, countries are doing pretty well, so they will qualify for the finals uh, at this point in time. So they're, they're just currently fighting for positioning. I don't know if uh, the game between them, we will look into the score after this. I know there is one more game playing played at the same time as this one. Ooh, a very strong start for the Night's Watch. Where we have Ghost, Recruiter, and Eye of Ravens. 
and not a bad start for the one side with the great hall Tyrion and birdman though that birdman will join the the watch and we see at the gates opening i would have tried and snipe Bjorn from hand if i was at Mateo's side From first turn and that would have suit the game. Uh, I can see the need for uh, economy. I'm not sure it's a wise decision to get at the gates here for the Nightwatch player with the two great holes and giving uh, the additional five more gold. One gold to the one e could be very explosive, but then again uh, we have uh, double reset or I mean. Double resent and double march. So there is a lot of uh, attrition there. And let's not forget the words. We see Birdman stolen. And now Yoren for Ramsey. How many copies of Ramsey were there in the deck? So quickly just uh, align this thing uh, so you can see that what looks like there was Ramsey definitely can. And then the other deck. So three copies of Ramsey, the great attrition agent that he is. Two copies of cold hand which is an interesting but you can flicker Ramsey in and out of play this way traditional shenanigans and it looks like a very solid start for the Nightwatch player I know that in a standard game the one Easter would have surrendered at this point immediately in a normal game but we are not in that type of game so every victory is important Good. Looks like we will see a big charter coming down. Yep. Uh, Jamie and Captain Shadow. So we know this should be legend card. You see Jamie protected or something will be jumped and then return. Primary candidate here is uh, Hound. So here Mirror. I'm pretty sure it's a welcome tradition for the one star players to see that card of the restricted list. So quite some time now. Uh, unfortunately we, we haven't seen much uh, action from and we see uh, never bet. We have Tyrion and it's like that will be oh, and Hound. Actually, Hound is very key here. It looks like he decided for Tyrion. Not bad, not great. Oh, definitely considered Hound. Uh, just because uh, he is a very strong body. Interesting enough, uh, uh, the Nightwatch player didn't trigger Ghost of High Heart. So just uh, get rid of one of uh, re resource from the one star player. I think that was very important here. Do we have Pure Master's Cash in the one list? I don't think we saw any, so there is no control for the wall here. Could prove a downside with all the discarding effects, and we see here Mirror for the Hound, so this is why we haven't seen the Hound. I'm curious why there was no trigger of Ghost of High Heart at any point in time. Definitely, I would have triggered him here.
at least once but looks like uh, the Baltic player is not valuing the first turn uh, that highly or maybe he is aiming for that hound after one of the challenges looks like there we won't see any challenges here um, interesting difference in the interesting choice at least poke the intrigue with the reducer that will go for claim and we see military with Jamie for 4 unfortunately not enough time to defend it in the face of Ramsey As I said, there, there was merit to the triggering of the ghost. And now there is more than enough gold to cancel it after the interview challenge. You see, call hands, as I mentioned, shenanigans with Ramsey. In the next uh, phase. Now there is enough gold for treachery, the trigger of the gold that I have. Our challenge with the hound, we will go back to hand. Crossing challenge. The superior claim. A very explosive turn, something we, we used to see at this point. And at least now trigger the ghost. I think only the strength is uh, linked to the. You see, region card returning uh, Tyrion to hand. And now ghost. Ah. Dominus goes to tail. I wonder why we didn't see triggering uh, Ghost of High Heart. I think we see March here. Uh, and let's hope there is another run in hand. To the March. He cannot trigger it now. Uh, I think uh, Nico could be right here to have uh, maybe door section windows are disabled.
Okay, so we will sit through the... We will sit through how they resolve this. I mean, it's a good advice to have... Uh, uh, in the how to play there are a lot of... Uh, in your settings actually when you go at your account at your profile there you, you should turn on every action window that you have we see Tyrion, Hound, Castle Rock Regent Guard and here Mirror in the hand and let's see what will stay there um I think here mirror definitely makes sense here or hound. Tyrion is something on the board that you can deal with. Hound is not. So either here mirror or hound. Uh, and I'm more inclined to remove the hound here. Uh, if it was me, uh, that is. Luckily, I'm not talking to any of the players, so. I cannot give them advice, but we see a lot of support from both. Yeah, and looks like the hound is the the choice here. So we'll see everything else go. Everything else goes back to hand. Okay, and that's resolved. Standing face, I mean, dominant face. We forgot to use Isle of Ravens here. I mean, Uh, looks like uh, Theo will go into head on spikes and I'm definitely expecting March on Ramsey, although we don't know what's in the hand. Head into March, yep. Mailed it. So, first player, let's see. Uh, the nice two player this and we see a copy of cold hands uh, hit. okay good uh, good thing we didn't check off cold hands maybe uh, wait uh, and here I tell to interesting why marching the recruiter although we know how heavy the hand so for the one player is now. We have a very good idea. It's a region guard, uh, Tyrion. So I won't be surprised if we see Castle Rock Marshal here. And then have. Uh, and then have Tyrion uh, roared into game and then returned. So, and that will be, actually that will be 5 gold. So not enough gold for that play. And then straight out Marshall here and then I assume for 3. And then put a card in Shadow. And we may see Tyrion Marshall several times this this game by the looks of it and judging the information we have of uh, Mateo's hand
I wonder if we'll see a card in Shadow or uh, something smaller than Marshall on the board. Looks like he said that to go. Maybe some ambush options were presented. And we see Yoren stealing. Luckily, now there was no treachery in the two drawn cards. And we see Tyrion joining the Night Watch side, the right side. And looks like he will be given for claim. <laughs> Luckily enough, we didn't see Yorin being hit by the head on spikes. But losing cold hands is also very crucial. So, do you. Uh, I think uh, leave it on a post, sacrifice Tyrion. Uh, there is no close call, so you won't be giving any draw. Or in this case, immediately trigger Ghost to remove the Hero Mirror. We know that it, it is in the hand of uh, Theo, and then get uh, the new information that you need. I don't know why Core is waiting on the trigger. So you see, just on a position to stop the unopposed and cure Ghost. Into challenge for five, gaining some gold for the Nitrous player. I wonder if you see bound to the wall this turn. Ghost triggered finally. I wonder why he waited on the power challenge. On the internal challenge, maybe now he will. Yep, as predicted, uh, her mirror will be removed here. If we see an opposed user challenge. Ow. A heavy was for the Night Watch uh, side here. But there is uh, enough resources so here to continue. We see an opposed military where Jamie will bite the dust. And then power. The one deck is so stuffed with high cost character that bounty is very efficient. Unfortunately, we didn't see it uh, triggering here. But I expected to have it return without the fragrance to the deck at some point. So, I wonder if they will go into, a, is, into his second uh, spikes or into Duheris. Uh, Yorin makes the board very inconvenient for the Nightwatch uh, side. But Duheris helps a lot. In that regard, we will see, and we see Bound move to the deck in the dominant phase. So, 
Do you go counting now? Is a night watch or both to waste the plot? We know there is a shadow card, although I don't expect it to be to stay in shadow for that long. So we see counting into the Harris. Then we'll see Yoren and uh, Tyrion not selected. So Ghost and uh, I expect Ramsey to stay on the board. But first, Mateo has to decide who will be first here. Uh, in, in his uh, advantage is if uh, the Night of Trail was worth it yet. Just because of things like Yoren and uh, Ward. Uh, one thing we know for sure is that the one is definitely not out of the game. Why do you keep Yoren on the board in this case? He's not stronger than Ramsey. And definitely I prefer to draw into Ram into Yoren than to draw into Ramsey in this stage. Okay, one of those weird inclusions. I'm personally not a fan of the card, but it could draw, it could draw, draw you a few cards, definitely. And we knowing that maybe he's trying to force the first snow of winter next turn. To get rid of the smaller uh, characters. So we know there is a card in shadow in the face. Uh, now we have a lot less information what's hiding in the hand. I mean, Cole is well aware what's there. We see Mircewa. She needs uh, to have opponent who has fewer cards in his hand. And bodyguard. And Gunter. One of those cards that utilize uh, Cersei. I wonder if the Nightwatch will we see in the Nightwatch list a uh, copy of. No copy of. This more mercenary. I blanked out on the name. Is, do we have it here? No. What was the name of the stupid mercenary? Old Billy Bone. Draw the fashion card. So military with uh, the four fellows, they are gaining power for their uh, forced reaction or reaction, okay, for their reaction. And bodyguard that you from from Marcelo. And we now we have power challenge. And you see one of those. He gets another power on the portal, so looks like next turn, uh, without any surprise, could be the person of winter. Because with this power, uh, Cole is definitely close king on the game. And finally, an inter challenge. What a waste. It goes to, uh, into a challenge. Uh, at least this way, let me see. Birdman discarded. Uh, at least you know you can defend the first challenge unless it is power. Unfortunately, Marcelo will have to be knelt. Okay, so. We 
you show count you can and military which will be opposed by Yoren and then um, one of the poor fellows will probably be given for him. Another uh, recruit of Scarlet in the pool of uh, fame. Uh, are there three, three of those in the Knight of Fool deck? Only two. Definitely, I would have won three of them with three times with saving Koramz three times in the deck. And a wild Iron Bank will save you. But they are two in the deck, so okay. This is pretty much my Viking deck. There are a few things I like to run in my Night of Fool deck that I don't see here, but again, that is up to a personal preference. We saw Mutiny on uh, Yoren eating Marcelo. Yep. Makes sense, makes sense. And then we'll see March next turn for the Night Watch player. Now the ghost is active. So, uh, in Tails position, I will definitely go ahead on spikes here for the second time. Uh, for the lucky hit that we need on uh, Yoren, I suspect there is Yoren there if it was used for mutiny. So, Mateo will go into his second head on spikes or into you win or you die now. And I think we'll see March. Okay, so we decided to for the VD uh, into you win or you die. Uh, Matteo can definitely close here. He decided to go first. Matteo can definitely close here with a little bit of work. In the face of uh, Cersei, for example, Cersei can close the game by herself without a problem. And uh, we know there is uh, uh, the, the dreaded vocation Castle Rock. Uh, looks like no Cersei. Like all the chuts got found early. But we haven't seen any of the bigger, more impactful characters. And let's see if we have wards or another trigger. There is gold for the ability to stop uh, Yoren. But uh, if there is ward, I think ward now is a better uh, choice to steal myself. Yep, and we felt we have ward. As mentioned, to keep myself for the very important power icon. Although the military will wipe the board, definitely here. We can go directly into challenges where we have burnt man ambushed. Looks like Matteo didn't find any of the events after the first turn. Also, losing the hound was very crucial. We see military challenge. Uh, definitely trigger ghost.
before deciding what to do. Uh, looks like Pycelle will be given for claim. We see Tywin discarded. And Pycelle will go for claim, I assume. And we see the second copy of Ward is card to Pillage. Huge hit, uh, but we have I will claim on to help us with that so. Not much to cry about. Let's see what uh, the entry claim will be. Look at entry claim. Jesus Christ. So Rip those cards, all of them very important. And you see an entry challenge. I wonder if the entry challenge is better here or the trigger. Okay, we have bounce, so looks like that was necessary. Uh, and we see Tywin. Tywin, treachery. Luckily enough, there was a character there. Enter pound discarded at random and Tywin will do the power challenge now. And game directly into the center. Dominance, I expect to see Arrow Framers trigger now. Return Bound or the Big Wall to the deck. So Bound looks like Bound was returned to the deck. And so, first of Winter is definitely out of the question. So maybe a return to the field for at least one card. What did we watch here? So Jamie who is dead, Spirit Claim and Castle the Rock. And we see heads into exposed duplicity, so looks like Theo will try to close uh, with that. He's at 12, he hit uh, begging brother. So very close to winning. But he is in a very tough position with uh, Tarin on the board. And we see Cersei joining the fray. So this could get very ugly very fast. There are no Cravens in the Night Watch Wolf deck. We see a ranging party. And unfortunately, that's it. So we see Tenth and Tywin. So a chunk military challenge. Unfortunately, you cannot afford to let it go here. So you have to defend it. Yep. And now intrigue with all the characters. So we get Trigger of Gunthor and this week for 11th trend. Either Tywin defend it, defends it, 
uh, to stop uh, Cersei from triggering, which is like, uh, but he has to use both characters. Gunter will discard the card and one for ten, so it will be two to fourteen. Uh, this looks like, and then the power challenge has to be defended by Tywin. So, best course of action here is to from, from opponent's hand. So, best course of action here is to new Ghost Fighter to oppose the challenge, and then Tywin to win the power on defense. And that keeps you, and this keeps you in the game. But you have to pose the challenge with the Ghost of High Heart here. It looks like that's the case. We see I discarded for a card draw. Gunter hits uh, Isle of Ravens. And Claim is bound to. Oh. Down to the wall, and Yorin discarded for the peerage. We now power challenge that will be defended by Tywin. Nope, you cannot not do the power challenge here. And now there is no Iron Bank in Tails list to win with Iron Bank. So now I expect to see Morgulis played from uh, the marching to return to the field. Yep. Uh, and this wins you initiative. So I always forget for this stupid quote. I, I hate it with passion. I wonder if uh, Teo will try and. Uh, Okay, so cancel the resolution entirely. Very close game. So, locally there is only Jamie dead. Uh, so we can see Hound, we can see Tyrion make their return. Big Wall killing a character and isn't there a reducer here? No. So Birdman, I think it will be a Birdman. But that is enough for a three challenges now. Which all of them has to be opposed in some shape or form. Uh, Tails deck hasn't been shuffled, so we know there we know there's Tyrion at the bottom, I think. We okay, have military with the Birdman. Uh, and we know there is Hound at the bottom. If the events in hand, uh, if there are events in hand. 
uh, like never bet against my family and hear me roar. So we see defense. Uh, that was more than mandatory at this point. A single misstep and could lead to a disaster here. Uh, power with the ranged party or Tywin to make sure you win. Power with the ranged party. On a post with trick with Tywin will be well uh, 14. Uh, I would definitely defend this with uh, Cersei. Yep. And then let's just hope there are no events in uh, the hand. I wouldn't do challenge with Tywin here. Definitely. Trying to oppose as much as possible. On the backswing. But... Uh, will there be never bet? So it's an interesting challenge. For one measly strength. Wait, what happened? What? Oh, he win with dominance. Okay, very interesting game, very close game. Uh, I have the same experience in this matchup. Well played from uh, Theo. Yep. Very well played. In. happy to be able to catch this game and we'll see you in the next one I don't know if it will be tonight bye bye